verse. I'm not gonna lie to you. I diverse. I diverse. I diverse. I diverse. Uh, because of what is actually happening now, I'm not gonna like waste your time, but I go carry you straightforwardly uh, to this information where they might help you. Make you follow me. See what in my eye they see. Make you follow me here. Yeah. Waiting my eye they hear because no be only me go hear am I me invade and burn a human banner emo over the killing of officers. <laughs> uh, they see the information where they might even say the army people don't invade a human banner, they burn and they destroy things because of their members. We be say they kill around that area, and I say that one a wrong movement to. That one, a wrong movement, a wrong movement. Yes, uh, somehow NIG army or the army themselves are an autonomy on their own, but I don't think um, this is why uh, it should result of burning of private and personal business premises in that area. Uh, because some of these innocent people and shops that um, army people are destroying might not even know uh, the people involved in what actually happening. This is why, um, like what I've been saying, I they talk this thing. Insecurity is not good. Terrorism is not good. Some of these things no they good at all at all. Make we go for that information. Make you see the full details of waiting they happen. Omwa otinya ke monofe na wepukana katupo megene olaka mado. Nigerian military has continued to attack and burn down business premises of civilian populace in a human banner Imo state as a revenge for the killing of their men by Simon Eberled Biafra Liberation Forces. This is sadly and cowardly act of brutal show of power on aimless citizens of the state must be condemned by well-meaning Nigerians. Um, this is a show of cowardice indeed. Uh, let's go to comments. Let's see what uh, uh, individual people are commenting on this particular matter because I'm on a particular page now where I'm bringing you this information. Let's go down so that you can see what people are, are saying. Congressman said, show of cowardice by the Nigerian military personnel instead of embarking on intelligence, intelligence gathering to fish out the attacks, here you are destroying properties of innocent civilians. How will they now come forward with information? Uh, I think a congressman has spoken as a true congressman. Yeah, I think um, the, 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 the step that Nigerian army are taking now is actually the wrong step and is also a show of cowardice because um, what happened there was not a war. It was an ambush. So I didn't think that um, I don't think that this issue of the army, you know, doing a retaliation attack on the community people is a welcome idea it is not a welcome idea at all uh, because why would they be you know going against the community these are the people who are expected to uh, be bringing you informations letting you to know see how things are going around there and you are burning down their business this is the kind of thing that happened around or low and those environs when you know army people were attacked there and the rest of them i think i'm um, a nigerian force should uh it's high time they should start inculcating uh, discipline in their members morality in their members yes even though something happened a uh, burning people's house will never bring back your officers what you need is an intelligent war to be able to uh, get information on the people that did what they do another person say no house was burned down when soldiers were killed in niger state no arrest was made but always flex their muscles when it comes to Southeast. Another person say, My brother, the thing time you, uh, Christopher Moose say, things are getting out of hand in Imo State. Imo State was a very peace, was a very peace, was very peace until they came with their ESN and IPOB. Until hopeless Ozodema was installed as governor. <laughs> Another person say, You Igbos, IPOB, ESN, UGM were clapping. For your people when they killed and burnt nigerian personnel you will pay heavily for this your act of supporting evil we shall see who we who we blind first <laughs> uh, this one a threat to supporting evil we shall see who we blind first whether nigerian army will first get tired or the ipob will first get tired another person say go and sit down mr man 
let them fight the people not innocent marketers you are fool uh, this one i don't know they like to uh, bring uh, uh, what is called foul uh, statement on my channel because um that is not what we are here for uh, but i don't i think that this is a show of cowardice i think um if nigerian army are really uh, what they say they are uh, because even today we had informations of um troops you know moving uh, with heavy heavy uh, uh, um vehicles and ammunition i think um what the army should do is uh with great intelligence find out those who are doing this thing i don't think that the retaliation should be on innocent citizens and also on market women who are uh, doing little by little to be able to feed themselves and their families so i think um uh, the army should go and combat combat with the necessary people those who are involved in whatever that has happened to them and of course some people are saying that this issue is political that it is because of the uh, upcoming 2023 gubernatorial election and that is why all these things are taking place in Imo state that politicians uh, are trying to remove the eye of the people from the main thing uh, so that their focus will be on the insecurity that is happening uh, so that their ballot box will be taken away my name is Alugo Nasuna Onye Zio Mume Wero Chiche by Obigwe Obigwe said Onye Ezio Mume Nebu Nimba Maname Balo Onye zio mume we lo chichi u mu chukwa ngolea. Onye zio mume we lo chichi u mu chukwa ngolea. Mwa chine keno ni so che nzu kanaga niru. Mwa chine keno ni so che nzu kanaga wele wele. Okode, eh, mwa ke buka no nye gu. Mwa no mwa mbu mwa ke na so re 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 re. Mwa ke na so ka sugar. <laughs> Don't touch the dial. This is where you need to be. This is your personal channel. Uh, without you, there will be no me. And without me, uh, you yourself, uh, you know, go to listen to this fine voice uh, with the Kali uh, matter come to you. On other information, police don't declare 24 hours curfew in Kano after judgment sacking Abba Yusuf. <laughs> uh, the kind politicians will be say we then be say, you know, say. Uh, this APC government, now one of the government, we be say, you know, too, they clear to me. Uh, because if I they watch the way they do things, um, the things they make me make remor, make remor. Because the way APC they do things, we say, people, we be say they don't enter to power already. Uh, because say now they are people, now then they for the top, top of the office. You go to see them, they go court. And where they go court, they go to tell you, say, this judgment will be overturned. You go to see a lie, they, they lie, you. <laughs> Before you know it, the judgment will be overturned on their favor. APC, what you know if you do, you know they exist. Meanwhile, make a carry you go for that information, make you see what in the happen. The Kano police have declared a 24 hours curfew in the state following the tribunal judgment sacking Abia Yusu as the governor. In a judgment delivered on Wednesday via Zoom, the tribunal ordered the Independent National Electoral Commission to withdraw the certificate of return issued to Yusuf. The tribunal also affirmed Yusuf, governor of the All Progressive Congress, as duly elected governor of the state. Um, I don't think uh, this this thing that is going on with this APC party is 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 a welcome idea because um, it, APC must not be the governor of all the states. Uh, if they win them in some states, let them come down. Because had it been that um, other parties we are doing things like this, I don't think that by now uh, Nigeria will still have peace. Because um, these this kind of things are the things that bring brings enmity in a state where the courts will not be able to be delivering good judgment and the rest of them. And I don't then think that judgment should be based on prejudice. I can, uh, this is not a uh, first state. Many of the states where other parties won, APC are still uh, 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 making sure that uh, that they take over. As, okay, let's go that to that. In a statement, Mohamed Gumel, the commissioner of police, said a team of security operatives have been dispatched across the city to enforce curfew. In a view of the constitutional mandate of Nigerian police force alongside the relevant uh, internal security and law enforcement agencies to preserve law and order in the state, the Kano State Police Command have mapped out strategies on that direction and call on the good people of the state to give the necessary confidence and support, 
statement reads, Going forward, Kano State Radio Designs are called upon to note that combined security forces have already been dispatched to the nooks and crannies, including the entry and exit of the state, to ensure enforcement and strictly compliance to the 24 hours coffee order as communicated by the state government via letter with reference. Now, the thing is, um, if these people actually know that if the man that the court has given the mandate is the people's man, why is their coffee? Why are they afraid of protest for the people to come out to protest? I don't think, I think um, this particular government is a government that is ruling with the barrel of gun. Meanwhile, I'll be winding down the curtain here. And if this is your first time of joining us on this wonderful channel, kindly go ahead and subscribe, like, comment, share. And also remember to on your notification button so that whenever our news drop, you will be the first one to collect. And thank you for listening. God bless you.